Greetings and salutations, fellow Space Marines. We are here talking about Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2, and I'm here with the guest Fresh Prince. Yay, yay, yay! Yay, 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 indeed. I am here, East Game Akuma, kind of in, out, in and out because I'm eh, feeling weird, but we are doing this co op review because we've both been playing Space Marines religiously, and honestly, is you played the first one. I didn't really play the first one. Oh, no, 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 no. I watched somebody play the first one. Yeah. I, I just watched everything. You just watched everything? You was a spectator? I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't like, I knew Warhammer was like crazy to get into. So I was like, I'm going to like go crazy with this. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just not my shtick, not my speed. I just watched him no, play the first one. No, I got you. And for those fans out there that's probably not liking that they hear that, hey, listen, listen, listen. Be glad that some people get into the game and at all because it is, Space Marines is a dope game. Oh, it is. And it's freaking a, made me go back to the first game. I got a way to got it on my PS3, but now we're here with part two. So, Damien, I'm gonna let you go first since you are the guest. What drew you to get Space Marines? To? Well, what at first I I mean like I said I I, I like the Warhammer universe, but it wasn't like it's not like my thing, but when I saw Space Marine 2 coming out, at first I was like, oh, cool, Space Marine 2. I've heard of Space Marine. I know Warhammer, la de dee blah But then, then they showed gameplay for the first time, and I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. Oh, oh, this is just Helldivers on steroids. This is Helldivers and Gears of War is like Love Child or something. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. Hordes of, of, of Xenos and just dudes for the emperor ah and big weapons big guns just big just big and, and no it, the the visuals the gameplay the overall overarching storyline is interesting and i was like you know what why not and so i got it that's very valid points and being that the 40k stands for the 40 years because i didn't catch that on until years later when i noticed that you know we have warhammer 30k and all that stuff i was like oh, okay so they're going by the years has it been out so i'm like okay that makes sense it's pretty cool i mean i deep dived into the lore for a little bit for years i mean i went to the games workshop over on 14th street well not 14th street yeah actually yeah, it was west fourth over there and actually seeing people build the sets paint the figurines and all that it's phenomenal like warhammer is just a big ass game and i'm like with it and then it goes into the video game genre and i'm like ooh, okay but i like i said i didn't get into it in before because they had a lot of rts style games or i can't remember what world of warcraft not world of warcraft warcraft 3 style was i want to say moba but i could be wrong i couldn't tell you because i played it back in the day but i could be wrong it's like it's like starcraft and the rest of them but yeah Warhammer finally came into a third person, not cover shooter, because they you don't cover as a space marine. Mm. You just jump in there. Yeah. There's no covering the system for the Emperor. You don't cover in the system, but we're going to get into the story first. No spoilers, though, of course, if you still haven't played it by now, but still, I don't want to spoil it. It's still new, still fresh. But honestly, it was kind of short, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But we did get an early access copy of the game. Yeah. So yeah. we got done. We, I mean, we took our time. We got done with it by what Monday? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. We, were we done took by our the, time because what? Uh, early access started last Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So we and... got done with it by Monday, and I probably yeah. each episode that I was working on, it was like an hour and thirty minutes each mission. So especially. Not including the operations, which was side quests that we just did on the side. That's what took us actually longer. But it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was short, but I guess you want to get to the point because it's all about some of the PvE and the PvP. Yeah. So the storyline was kind of funny. It kind of yeah. felt like we was just a bunch of kids getting in trouble with Chaplin half the time. Oh, Chappy. Chaplin was everything. always pissed. Like, every day we done with a mission, like, get your ass in the office, right? He was like that. Police sergeant in the eighties movies always screaming at you. Like we were the Axel Foley and he was the police commissioner or whatever. Like, why are you always gotta throw this up there? Let's find out this your faith is in question. And I'm like I think 
I think the <laughs> I think the the best meme I saw to compare that was like from one of the Harry Potter movies with mm-hmm. Professor McGonagall. You three, she, she was like, it, it, she she was chaplain. He's like, every time I I I hear about some nonsense, it's you three involved, and it's just Harry, Ron, and uh, Hermione were just Titus, yep. Chiron, and uh, Gadriel. I was like, yeah, nope, that's 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 about it. It wasn't it wasn't much comedy in the game, which no. I understand that is not going to be because it's most of these space yet. marines don't really have that much sense of humor. Yeah, but why, I have why to say, have hmm? sense of humor when you're you should be killing for the emperor laughing. <laughs> well, it should be fun at least. I had fun. We had. Fun. Oh no no I mean, no, we had fun. I'm talking about as the space marines. Like, what are you what are you laughing for? Get out there oh, for the emperor. No, I get it. It was like it was just always brooding and just like you know, uh, my face is in question and. Oh, and speaking of the drilling was just ha- hilarious to me. I'm like, damn, this like the dude just got off the boat. He already survived the whole horde situation in the first part of the game, and now he's getting grilled by his own space marines. Not get it? Yeah. But it was just like, damn. But honestly, story the storyline was just like to me wasn't that heavy for me to get into to really care that much. I was just there once. Damien told me I could get a hammer. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, the good old, uh, what is it, Thunder Hammer, I think it's called? Yes, sir, and the brutality. So, that's a good segue. Let's go into the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay. I know you was yeah. all about that sword and shield. Yes. Uh, bulwark, power sword, shield, other hand. Just, just beefy. Now, I will say, gameplay, I mean, very just, just up front. You big marine. Anything else not good must die, except for the the guardsmen. But pretty much anything else gotta go. Get it out of here as as as, as quick as possible. This extreme, and I do mean extreme prejudice, and I do mean prejudice. Wow. It, 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 what? It, they hate. They hate literally anything that is not for the emperor. Yeah. Heresy, heretics. Let's kill them. But the gameplay fun, outstanding. Very, I'm not gonna call it repetitive, but I mean it is, but it's not a repetitive. I'll call but a it bad way. simple. I'll call it simple. I mean, it's simple. It's not a simple, bad but thing. A, but a good simple. A very okay. good. Ah, I am big marine. I have either big gun or big melee weapon. I'm big. Those things are big, but I'm stronger and better, and I'm gonna kill them greatly. And it was good. So Fishing much the so. gore, the the executions. Me as a bulwark, I only had like a pistol, but you know. Hey, as a hammer game. user, I only had was a pistol too. Well, I mean, in the main game, you can use other weapons. Oh yeah, yeah. In the campaign, the, the all the weapons were good in the campaign. Oh. Experimenting with all the weapons there. I have to say, my melter was my favorite weapon. Um, I. Ooh. I am stuck between the ooh, it's the. Uh, carbine, carbine. One of the carbines. It was like it's like a DMR type weapon, single shot, or the heavy bolter rifle. I was I'm stuck between those two. Those two were usually one of the two. Now, honorable mention, mm-hmm. the laser sniper rifle. Ah, beautiful. Mad I picked it up so late in the in the campaign, but it was just, literally any rubric marines. One shot execution ready. I'm like, oh. Who would so you great. say? Who would you say would have been like? Who's your favorite enemy to fight? Either the Tyranids or the Chaos. Tyranids. Really? I hated it. I hated the Chaos. I hated fighting them. <laughs> they were so annoying. Why? Because they also have the ability like us. Not even that. It's just. But the Tyran. Well. Mmm. Mmm. Think about no, it. I, I still I still like the Tyranids more than the the Chaos because really? the Chaos were just there was too many not too many it weren't too many versions but the, the out of the number numbers of versions of the Rubric Marines yeah uh, alongside like their little little fucking sword and shield goblins they're just annoying they're cool but just annoying I did like fighting the Tyranids more though the Tyranids. They were just Either cool, way, except, except, ex- yeah. fucking, except. Uh huh. The the floaty 
<laughs> Force breath oh. little I think they're called zoanthorps. Mm-hmm. Ew. Yeah, those things were freaking annoying. But I'm actually sad that there was a lack of orcs. You know, he's just fucking shitty to write out. <laughs> I remember the first game had orcs. It did. It had a big orc boss. Yeah, I felt I that. I think his name was. I felt the second one, even though it gave us two enemies to fight, I felt like they should throw in some orcs somehow, somewhere. Yeah. But the tier didn't maybe. seem like it was the main boss of this game. Maybe in a deal. Excuse me. Maybe in a DLC. True. And let's speak on that because honestly, it's beautiful to have a game off rip. And if you got the Ultra Edition, you get all stuff like what season pass and the DLC yeah. stuff with it. Uh, yes. Give me a second. I'm going to pull up the roadmap because there is a roadmap already oh, for it. You must send me that too. Uh, gotcha. While he looks up the roadmap, honestly, visually speaking, okay. everything looked freaking awesome. The music, the crunching of the enemies, the execution. It's like, I'm all about the gameplay being good, but also if the sound design goes with the gameplay, it works really well for me. I give that top notch to whoever was working on that because, man, it made you really feel like a badass big space marine with two of your hearts ready to take out any adversary old as hell as you are because i mean these space marines are like two centuries or maybe more at times especially well, titus we know, we know titus is over 200 years old yes, the is. other one's probably maybe hitting 100 not sure yet not i mean chaplain sure. might be up there too i think chaplain's his oldest titus because ah. he remember uh mm, chaplain is a is someone we know yeah but i get you and, i get you uh, but I sent you the 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 roadmap. But we get ultra wide support if you want it. There it is. Yeah, I don't uh, understand that whole debacle with that. But hey, whatever. if you whatever you whatever you whatever floats your boat, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Your, uh, private PVE lobbies. So that way, if you want you and your just you and another friend want to do some some lobbies, boom, yeah. you don't got to worry about no random popping in. And a battle barge sparring arena. Whatever that may be. I see the season pass for Ultramarines cosmetic pack. Yep, which looks like uh, maybe some new um, heraldry colors. Mm -hmm. Maybe some new types of, maybe some new chapters you can pick from. Honestly, maybe this is extra... how you should do a game. With You just pay for DLC, not like these weird microtransactions. There's no in-game cosmetics to really buy unless you get the season pass. Yes. Uh, oh. Season 2, some PvE missions, a new enemy, maybe orcs. Could be. Uh, yeah, lethal difficulty, got... a new pistol. Jesus. Which looks crazy. Season 3. And... Damn! Uh, some, uh, a new chapter, it looks like, the Dark Angels. It's nice. Uh, season 3, new PvE missions, new PvP game mode, new PvP arenas, another new enemy. Mm-hmm. Uh, prestige ranks and another battle barge thing with another chapter or a chapter will receive some champion pack cosmetics and weapons and another something or other and then by season four we should get a horde mode a new enemy and a new weapon i'm excited for horde mode i'm actually tripping out that we're going to get season two in 2024 the yeah. year is almost over yeah. i wonder when they're going to drop that in november maybe uh, probably, probably yeah, best. Also, trying to figure out what, how much is that going to cost. Uh, for people that don't have the season pass. Or, so oh, we, that's a, no, season two is a free. Oh, really? It's all free. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, free updates. Wow. Nah, yeah. it, nah, it has Everything, to be a catch. Every, er, no, if if you, if you look at it on the side, on the top, it says free updates on the side. And the season pass is right there on the bottom. So if you have the season pass, you get all that stuff. And then up top, everyone gets it for free. It's actually impressive. I'm actually impressed. So we're going to get a whole new content for free if you got the season pass. Yes. Hmm. Well, the only thing that makes me weirded out by this is because, okay, I get the season pass stuff. But then there's a bracket in between for 2024 and 2025. Season where's three the and first twenty? Where's the where is the season three in the in twenty twenty five? Where does that sit at? Because as as long as they don't pull a uh, who did? Call of Duty. 
No. Oh, a Mortal Kombat. Mm. And have these updates so far in between each other, mm-hmm. or so far from each other, I'm mm-hmm. fine. Like if season two is in November, season three is in January, and season four is in like March. That's good. That's good in my you know, a month to enjoy, a month off to prepare for the next one. So how do you feel? We're gonna segue into this. How are we how are we talking about with the PvP? How do we feel? I I'm not usually a PvP person, but I enjoy it. It's fun. It's not too hard. People aren't too sweaty. I mean, that last lobby we was in was kind of sweaty, though. I mean, it was kind of sweaty, but no, no one's too sweaty. We did have that one dude who was being a, a, a douche nozzle, but <laughs> I do have uh, to say that it felt fair because I didn't feel like yeah. the other team was overpowered. It was, just, it no. was just that we had to work together. Yeah, no, there's there's no there's no weird balancing. The best part it's, about it, like, you only get doubles of two types of space marines. So mm-hmm. there can't be a whole squad of heavies. It can't be a whole squad of assault. Definitely can't mm-hmm. have a whole squad of sword and shield. So it's just like, woo. But could hey, you hey, imagine if that was hey, a thing? That hey, was hey, saber! Don't don't touch the bulwark, man. Let us keep let us keep blocking. I'll block <laughs> every bullet, no demand. <laughs> don't I mean, touch the it. the heavy class got a whole shield too. So they he got a whole shield. Don't don't touch me. Well, you can break the shield if you shoot it enough. Hey, listen. All I care about is keeping my assaults. All uh, I know, all melee. I, all I know is I can't. My shield can't be broken. The emperor will be strong in that thing. Exactly, and of course we f- passing by how you can customize the space machine to be better ah, and yes. stronger. Not only yes. cosmetic, but you can also build up your weapons to be a lot stronger than before. Yep, which is pretty cool. This is why it's imperative to play the campaign, the operations, and then of course go into PvP to earn more points, which is mm-hmm. pretty cool. And you do earn coins to add in game. Everything is in game, which is amazing. That's the best thing about this. That's it. When you have a game that's fully functional, I mean, there were some hiccups here and there. Yeah. But we did play early before the patch had the game. Yes. But it still worked well. And I like the fact that even if Dame, uh, sorry, Fresh, bad, dipped out of the game. The game will still go if we play in operations of PvP or campaign. The game will still go. It will just replace his character with another character. And I, I was indeed the squad leader on that. I started the mission. It was my 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 uh, my lobby, but I left and nope. It was just replaced me with somebody else. And it was like, nah, no problem. You keep on going. Nah, nah, nah. Don't that, worry that, about that it. Ain't no problem. That ain't, ain't no problem. Thing. Now they did replace him with another bulwark, which was actually pretty but interesting. I, I do like that it didn't change. Yeah, what I was just to keep the flow going. Yeah, because they won't let, like I said, they won't let you duplicate even in the can in the campaign PVE. You still have to choose something else. So if you're not, the, if you're in there, and somebody else is something else, you better you don't have to change. That's the rules. I'm sorry, it's an unwritten rule. But whoever's there first has that. Man, that's how it is. Oh no, no, it's not an unwritten. That's like physically, you cannot be two different things. You can't be. Two you know, I'm talking things. about if somebody's not changing their character. They, oh, if you're in yeah. there first and you already got the character, you're gonna have to change. Oh yeah, yeah. You I'm sorry. Have to do We're treating this like prom night where we can't both say have the same outfit. Some, I'm sorry. Somebody's got to change. Now, us dudes, we wouldn't care. We'd just be like, okay, cool. Two uh, assault. Let's go. But, but the Emperor will not allow it. No, the Emperor will not allow it. They want a fair exchange with enemies so they don't cry to mama saying we didn't fight fair. But, yeah. <laughs> game is personally, after all things that we did in the game where there's no microtransactions, is a big plus. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Oh, you do out of fives? I do out of tens. Yeah, it's got to keep me. it simple. I keep it simple. Uh, for me, I guess if I'll stick with it, uh, I also give it a four out of five. Yeah. That is a damn good game that a lot of developers need to notice. Yes. This is what it, this is how oh, it should fu- be. Fun fun fact, uh, it is two different uh, development teams for both games. You lie. Nope. Saber only made the second game. Someone else made the first one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Space Marine One was made by. All right. Okay. Okay. You okay? Here's my birthday. Get out. Get out of my way. 
It was made by Relic Entertainment, published ah. by Sega. Yeah, Sega worked on the first game. Yeah, trippy, right? Yeah, trippy. But I mean, how, as well as it played, I'm not surprised. Sega does do some bangers. Sega, but... do, Sega does do good things. Hmm? What? Good, Somebody else took it over, and this is what we have right now. And I'm actually, I'm not mad at pretty it. Pretty good. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of good things. So, thank you all for joining us with our co-op. If you special shout out to Fresh Prince, please follow him on all his social medias and his links will be down in below. Anything else you want to add? For the Emperor, we don't allow heretics. Any heretics will be dealt with post haste. With extreme prejudice. Kill your goldfish. Okay, I right, he's up. He's up, okay? They don't have that long to live. You don't gotta go after the goldfish. I'ma make it less. Wow. Anyway, fellow Marines out there, if you have not picked up Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2, it is available right now. PlayStation, the Xbox, the PC. Is that, wait, is it? Yeah, there's crossplay. Honestly, that's the biggest thing about this. It has crossplay, and yes, you can choose to keep it with councils only, or you can do PC and council. It is up to you. Me and, Dame, me and Freshman have been on PC. But, you know, yep. that's the choice that they give you for a fair gameplay as, you know, as one would. And it's actually impressive that they was able to capably do that. So if you want to just play with PlayStation people with Xbox, then you can keep it as consoles. Now, don't get that twisted. I mean, only consoles, not just PlayStation with PlayStation and Xbox. No, you can keep yeah. it. You can keep it isolated to just console crossplay. No PC can get involved unless you open it up to that. That's up to you. That's actually I want to know how they did that. That's actually impressive. It would be cool if they did that across the board. Because, you know, especially with Call of Duty and stuff like that. Yeah. All them cheaters out there. You know who you are. All right, all right, all right. Down, you know down, who you are. Boy. No. Down, boy. Forever. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our co-op review. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned because I'll be posting almost every day. New videos all the time. We up to 400. 1,457 subscribers. We're trying to hit 2,000 before the end of the year. Yeah, that's you know, a lot. So it's a lot, but I want to hit that 2,000 mark. I want to hit that 2,000 mark, so Let's it's up to you. Touch For the, the ever, button. touch the button. Touch it. And make sure you touch follow it. my boy over here, Fresh Prince. He does mm. all the things. Thank what are you, you doing? What's it, what's it, what's the project happening? Uh, currently, Monster Hunter Project. Listen, Killing listen. Me. We'll talk about that. That's going to be in the next video because Tokyo Game Show is coming up soon. And there's going to be playable demo for those people. We need to make a trip, damn it. I'm getting tired of these people playing demos and we can't play. But anyway, that's besides the point. Stay tuned for the next video as we talk more on that subject. And as always, peace out. Yeah.